What if I told you an EV could store five times more energy than it can with today's lithium-ion batteries? With Elon Musk's recent reveal of Tesla's groundbreaking solid-state battery technology, the whole industry is facing its biggest shift ever. Imagine charging your Tesla fully in just 10 minutes, driving over 1,600 miles on a single charge, and only needing to plug in twice a month. In today's video, we'll talk about the factors that make solid-state batteries outperform traditional lithium-ion and what it means for Elon Musk's upcoming project. So stay tuned to see what's coming next. And if you want to keep up with all the latest breakthroughs from Tesla, make sure to hit the subscribe button to Auto Gear Shift and ring the bell to get every single update. Why are solid-state batteries becoming the game-changer in electric car technology? Most electric vehicles nowadays, including Tesla's models, run on lithium-ion batteries. Inside, there is a layer of liquid electrolyte for ions to travel between the cathode and anode during charging and discharging. And because the electrolyte is flammable, it needs a separator to prevent poles from direct contact. Solid-state batteries replace that liquid entirely with a solid electrolyte. It can be a ceramic, a polymer or some other special compound, which can be both an ion conductor and a physical separator. This completely changes the battery structure. The non-energy separator is gone, and the components are compressed closer together. It allows the use of metallic lithium anodes, which can store nearly 10 times more ions than the graphite or silicon used in lithium-ion batteries. That's why a solid-state battery has much 20 to 40 percent higher energy density. But that's not even the whole story. Solid-state batteries can charge way faster, up to two to three times quicker than traditional lithium-ion batteries. What usually takes about one hour now can drop to just 20 to 30 minutes, thanks to solid electrolytes having much higher mechanical strength, which effectively suppresses the growth of lithium dendrites causing short circuits. Because of this toughness, solid cells can safely handle charging currents of 5C or higher, compared to lithium-ion that max out around 1C to 2C charging rates. If Tesla nails 20-minute solid-state charging, do you think rivals like BYD or Toyota stand a chance? Yes or no? Comment down to let us know your opinion. So, how is the lifespan of solid-state batteries? Liquids can evaporate over time, and that's what's happening with lithium-ion now. Over many charge and discharge cycles, it gradually decomposes, creating chemical deposits that impede ion movement. So after around 1,000 to 1,500 cycles, or six to seven years of regular use, the battery's capacity usually falls to just 70 to 80% of its original level. Solid-state batteries work differently. There's nothing to evaporate or chemically degrade, that's why they can retain more than 90% of capacity after 3,000 charge-discharge cycles. That could mean 15 to 20 years before you see any major drop in range, which is three times longer than lithium-ion. Solid-state batteries can outlast lithium-ion by a huge margin. But what if Tesla could also reshape the way cars are built with this technology? Tesla is always looking for ways to reduce the weight of their cars. With the structural battery pack design, this company has been able to build Model 3s that weigh just 3,500 pounds. By making the battery pack an integral part of the vehicle structure, Tesla eliminates the need for heavy covers and redundant frames that are common in traditional battery designs. The floor of the vehicle is now the battery pack. So even though Tesla's 4,680 battery cells are actually heavier than the 2,170 cells, they are still able to reduce the weight of the vehicle with this new design. But solid-state batteries could push this even further. The problem with traditional lithium-ion batteries is that their suitcase is filled with flammable liquid, which require multiple layers of insulation, making them heavier. Luckily, solid-state batteries don't have to deal with this. As they don't require thick protective casings, these cells are about 10 to 15 percent lighter per kilowatt-hour. Multiply that by a 100 kilowatt-hour battery pack, and you're saving the weight of a few adult passengers. When solid-state batteries are combined with Tesla's structural packs, 
the total mass of the solid-state battery could be reduced by another 15 to 20 percent, or 100 to 150 kilograms, compared to the current 4,680 battery pack. How would the upcoming 24,799 Model 2 Red transform with a solid-state battery? Using solid-state batteries is apparently the game-changer that lets Tesla offer a reliable, long-lasting EV without breaking the bank. Tesla's current lithium-ion batteries have an energy density around 250 watt-hours per kilogram, while the new solid-state batteries are expected to boost that by 50 to 60 percent and reach about 450 to 600 watt-hours per kilogram on average. If calculated at 450 watt-hours per kilogram on average, that means with the same battery weight, Model 2 Redwood can go about 40 to 50 percent farther than it does now. The real deal is, the current Tesla Model 3 standard range has a 50 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery, giving it a real world range of roughly 270 to 310 miles. But with a solid state battery, the new Model 2 Redwood's capacity could increase to 80 to 90 kilowatt hours, pushing the range to 600 to 700 miles per charge. This would mean you could drive from Los Angeles to San Francisco without stopping or make a round trip from New York to Washington, D.C., with battery power still left over. The solid-state battery in the Model 2 also offers a super-fast charging experience rarely seen in an affordable EV. While current Teslas take 25 to 30 minutes to charge from 10 to 80 percent, as they slow down after 50 to 60 percent to avoid overheating, the Redwood has no such limitations. We're talking about charging from 10% to 80% in just under 15 minutes, using 350 to 400 kilowatt power at Supercharger 5 4 stations. No more waiting nearly half an hour or worrying about the next charging station. The Model 2 Redwood brings convenience close to the ease of a 3-minute gas fill-up, while still keeping the smoothness and efficiency of an electric Tesla. Finally, for those concerned about whether an EV can really handle the extremes, the Model 2 Redwood with solid-state batteries offers a level of resilience that traditional lithium-ions simply can't match. Standard li ion packs perform best between about 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 122 degrees Fahrenheit because their liquid electrolytes become sluggish in the cold and risk chemical breakdown in high heat. Solid-state batteries, on the other hand, maintain stable ion conductivity from negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to around 212 degrees Fahrenheit. How will Tesla's dry cathode 4680 battery design pave the way for mass production of solid-state materials? In 2021, Toyota unveiled a solid-state battery-powered car with an impressive 745-mile range, but three years later, they have yet to bring it to market. The main reason for this delay is high production costs. While many companies loudly announce their plans, Tesla has chosen to quietly test solid-state batteries at Gigafactory Nevada and Texas. And in fact, the dry cathode 4680 battery design that they're currently using for the Cybertruck is a stepping stone to production of solid-state materials. Dry cell battery technology is very close in principle to the manufacturing methods required for solid-state batteries. The key is the dry cathode process. In traditional batteries, cathode powders must be mixed with solvents to form a liquid mixture. The dry process Tesla is using with its 4,689 battery eliminates this step entirely. The material is mixed and pressed directly in the solid state. This will be almost directly compatible when switching to electrode coatings for solid state batteries. And much of the equipment Tesla uses for the 4680 dry powder mixers, calendars, coating systems, can be applied. This is a big advantage for Tesla, as most traditional battery manufacturers still rely on wet cell production lines, which require a huge cost to complete reinvestment when switching to solid-state batteries. By leveraging its existing dry cathode infrastructure, Tesla only needs to refine the solid electrolyte process instead of rebuilding from scratch. This cuts capital costs, speeds up commercialization, and lets Tesla outpace competitors from day one. 
That's a glimpse of the incredible solid-state batteries that hold for the future of electric vehicles. If Tesla manages to bring this technology to the Model 2 Redwood, it could redefine what affordable EVs can do and leave all Chinese rivals in dust. Thanks so much for watching until here. Stay tuned for more updates and insights in upcoming videos. See you next time.